Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? This is Michael with Law Enforcement. I hope all y'all are having a blessed day today. It's a pretty day outside today. It is 52 degrees, super sunny, drying out, and uh, for now the rain seems to be going away. It's getting a little chilly at night, but it's, it's okay during the day. But uh, anyway, I wanted to talk to y'all today about uh, what I think the best type of calendar is to use for lawn care. Uh, and that would go same for landscaping too. Um, the best calendar I think that there is to use for lawn care or landscaping uh, is one of these. It, uh, it's the type of, it's like a book. It's the type of calendar that shows you uh, the whole month at one time. Um, I, since 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 the first year that I started doing lawn care, I uh, I've always used this kind of calendar. And uh, last year I actually switched and I changed it up. I was at Walmart. I don't know why. I, I kind of have a little infatu infatuation with little calendars. Don't ask me why. I just like them. I think they're convenient, extremely portable. I always picture myself carrying them in and out of the truck and what's going to be the easiest to do that and not make me, you know, just want to leave it at home or something like that. Um, a lot of y'all may think the best camera, uh, the camera, a lot of y'all may think the best calendar is using your phone. I know Keith Kalfas likes to use his phone to keep track of everything and I think he uses something Google or other but um, and if that works for you then that's absolutely fine you don't have to um, use what I'm saying I, I'm just the type of person where I like I like to be able to touch certain things and uh, I like hard copies of certain things and um, I definitely like my calendars to be one of those I, I don't like and, and maybe I just don't know how to use the phone calendar the right way but it's just way too much clicking and expanding and and it just doesn't lay it out the way that I think would be the most convenient for me so I, I don't like using my phone but if you like using your phone or an iPad and you you enjoy reading stuff like that then by all means if that's what helps you run your business successfully then go that way but something to think about uh, I, I bought a calendar last year and it was the kind that um, it, it showed you, it was called At a Glance, and it showed you um, each week throughout the year, or throughout the month, and um, I thought that would be, I thought, I thought that was going to be better. Uh, turns out, I actually hated it. I did not like it one bit. Um, I wanted to change it so many times throughout the year, but I already had it. I didn't want to start over and write everybody's name again. But when people cancel with that type of calendar, or if people, if someone owes you money, a customer owes you money, and you write a little note down on the side of the page in the note section on the calendar, uh, to me, and again, everybody's different, but for me, once that week passed, and I went on to the next week in that month, I had to flip the page, and again, it was like out of sight, out of mind. So once I flipped the page, uh, I didn't really think to go back. I mean, every at the end of every month, I would go back and just just to make sure I caught up with everything. I started to get the hang of it. But when people would cancel and um, like say it's the first week of the month and they cancel, um, I mean, you, some some people they they like to play games with with, with the lawn care people and. They, they want to sign up as a weekly customer to get the best price, or they want to sign up as bi-weekly because they know if they say once a month, they know you're going to blow them out the water on the price. And if you're not, you should be because nobody getting that grass cut once a month should be paying the same thing that somebody pays getting that grass cut bi-weekly or weekly. So, and they understand that. They may act like they don't, but trust me, they get it. Um, so I had this one customer that it would be in the beginning of the week, she said, oh, I'm going to be bi-weekly. I'm looking for somebody reliable. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so um, so you got the first week, and then she would call, and she'd say, hey, 
it's it's too my backyard's too wet today. Can you hold off? I say yes, ma'am, absolutely. Then the next week comes around. The day before, hey, it's too wet today. Can you hold off? I mean, by the so it wasn't a coincidence. At first, I thought it was a coincidence, but when I look back through the schedule and I notice that wow, she's only getting cut once a month. It ain't even raining, and she keeps telling me my backyard's too wet, which it wasn't. I mean, this grass was getting so high in between cuts that literally every time I cut her grass, I found a snake. So that's how high it was getting, and it, and it was in the prime time growing season of the year. So when people start canceling like that, and, you, and you're having to flip back two, three, four pages to see what day they were on, where they need to, where they need to be, where they should be. I mean, it just confuses the whole schedule, honestly. And when you have a calendar like one of these uh, that show you the whole month in one page, well, when you write a note for that month on the right-hand side, or this one's on the left-hand side, I prefer it on the right-hand side, but when you write a note on the side of the page in the note section, I mean, that note is in front of your face for the whole entire month. And the, all the weeks, of course, are laid out for the whole month. I mean, you can see what's, when you write everybody's name, you can see what's coming up. It's constantly, you're constantly being reminded by who's next, what's done, what, who owes what, because it's always in front of your face. You're never turning the page in the same month to go to a, another week. So, you know. It, the saying really is true, out of sight, out of mind. And and if you can constantly look at the month in a whole, every time you look at your calendar, everything is going to stay fresh in your mind. You're constantly going to read that Joe Blow owes me an X amount of money, and Joe Blow, you know, um, you got some people that pay in advance. So when they pay in advance, uh, you can you can easily see. All right. They gave me $80 this month. I cut them one time. Marked that off. They, now I got one cut left to cover that $80. And when uh, when people start paying like the, uh, in advance weekly, and then you're going back and you're trying to play catch up, remember what cut was, you know, what cut covered what amount, uh, especially when somebody pays you in the middle of the month. And then the check comes in like it's on the third week of the month and then it's in between two months it, it gets confusing trust me it gets confusing it is way easier just to see the whole entire month at one time and uh that that was like one of the most regretful things that i did for my lawn care business in 2018 i mean it, it was it sometimes it would drive me nuts like and it would be so aggravating to sit there and figure out who went where and I mean like like on, on the calendar that shows you the whole month at a time I mean it's got the weeks laid out all seven days straight across so you skip one line of days and then I mean you you can just fill it in like that you know so you can just fill it right on down you know exactly who goes where it's just two lines below where they are originally right now and on the other one, you're constantly having to flip the pages. Even even when everything goes right, nobody can. So you still have to go back a week. Or if you got bi-weekly customers, you got to go back two weeks. Flip it back and forth. Put a paper clip or something on there so you can uh, mark your, your spot on the page. And, and it's just it's just not even worth it. It's 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 I don't like that idea at all. Uh, I watched a video last year right after I bought that calendar. And uh, it was from Nickens Lawn and Landscape, and he actually used that same calendar. And uh, I thought, wow, you know, I must have really made a good decision. If Alex has the same one, that's cool. But no, never again. Uh, I will, I will never use a weekly at a glance calendar, full on cat, ever again. You know. And then when somebody, a customer asks or calls real quick, they ask, hey, are you free? I mean. You, when they ask you that on the spot, all you got to do is look at the one page. You can see what's open, what's not. If you forgot to write anybody down, you could just look up two weeks uh, previously. So easy. Whereas the other way, you would have to be flipping pages, and it's just crazy. So, yeah. 
that's my video on what type of calendar I think uh, would help you out the most in lawn care. And uh, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, keep cutting grass, my friends. Bye-bye.